Drunk again, young Robert? <laughs> Not wise at lunchtime. <laughs> Hi, Donald. What's the oldest student in the world up to you? I'm inventing a small parable to amuse myself. I may use you as the naive hero. Donald the Baxter, the poor man's Tolstoy. <laughs> You're sweating like a pig. What's the matter? Oh, I've caught Dutch elm disease for the trees. They look all right, but they're rotten and sick. Oh, I was forgetting that you're a country boy. You'd know about such things. <laughs> Aye. To hell with you two. Watch yourself, son. Put a toilet paper in there. It's not much of you. Am I right, son? I didn't see a boy being run over. I didn't see an accident in the street. I saw a boy being murdered. You're right. What? I don't believe you. <laughs> I'll need to go to the police, eh? When did this happen? That's what they'll want to know. When? I don't know. I went back to the bridge, back to the factory. I even went down to the river. I don't know how long I was looking. Looking for what? For the boy's body. <laughs> no body. <laughs> the police insist on one of those. Bodies only disappear in fantasies. Our university architecture is only mock gothic. Why don't you try a literary society? Oh, I don't know what I'm talking to you for. I thought you wanted to go to the society. Wasn't there some talk about this beautiful girl? Certainly made it clear that you're not interested in little boys. Is that you, Muldoon? Kilpatrick? Go away. There's a bog upstairs. Leave me in peace. I'm happy. Would you mind hurrying it up, please? An hour. Nobody ever tell you it was weak then. Oh, sorry, Jackie. Uh, what? Bathing. Oh, sorry, I didn't know anybody else was in. Out. Jackie, did you know that in Belgium they charge you for the water you use? Dirty devils. Sentiment, Jerry. That's what I find so difficult with you Americans. I have a weakness for intelligence in 
literature. Well, as I said in my talk, maybe Dextroth was right when he said the most significant American literature between the wars was to be found in the pulp magazine. Sure, I think it was the best meeting of the town so far. Jerry really knows the scene as far as American literature goes. It was good of the professor to have us all back here. Oh, he's good that way, old Grace, man. The wine's pretty foul, though. I was interested by that novel he talked about. Across the river, um... What was it? Into the trees. Across the river and into the trees. I must read it. I haven't read anything by Faulkner at all. Hemingway. Who is? It's a novel by Ernest Hemingway, not Faulkner. Sorry. But you still want to get uh, uh, Henry Gibson clutching a copy of a doll's house and waiting for me on my doorstep when I get back. Uh, do you see what I mean? Not really, no. I find the whole dialect business terribly parochial. You know what Dextra said? Science fiction is romance turned into prophecy. Nonsense like that is almost too high a price to pay the bigger dependency of the great American Empire. Are you all right? Fine. Just felt a bit dizzy. Must be too hot in here, eh? My friend will be back in a minute. It's all right. Do you not know anybody? Nah, uh, I'm not a member. Oh. I'm doing English, though. I know. Yeah, I've seen you too. I thought to myself, there's this incredible looking girl. I'm sitting on the same benches as her, but I've never talked to her. Then I, I heard you were a member of the Literary Society. We call it the Lit Sock. <sighs> Hemingway, not Faulkner, eh? You've got a funny way of making friends. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Fine. Fine, here. I'll, I'll get you a drink. I'm listening to the Scots discussing nationalism. I'm the monk's friend, Bron. 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 You misunderstand me. My idea is that it is defeat that Satan is after, not the destruction of souls. The devil wants to be defeated, but you said he has the power to prevent God from doing that. Not really. Satan sets out to torment, and God, being good, is obliged to encounter him. God has no choice, no matter how wary he is of the game. <laughs> Satan must be defeated, but never is quite. So we owe red roses and sunsets to Satan's joy in being mastered. Angels and ministers of grace. Vanish, creature of hell. Priest, <laughs> you called my son? There's no need for blasphemy, you drunken swine. Father, I have sinned. Or I would have if she'd given me the chance. You shit. Oh, Muldoon, thou failed priest. What shop do you get your knickers in, Muldoon? <sighs> Double shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jammies. You're wearing your jammies. <laughs> Didn't he tell me? 
Our landlord, Mr. Kennedy, is out, and you've been trying to give his lovely wife, known to us as Jackie, unholy communion! <laughs> Him. Must know we call her Jackie. It's just a joke. You're a lucky man. He's just a wee bookies clerk. Jackie's the one that runs this house. If you say so. Seeing as you know it all. Just as well I didn't say anything. Stupid wee bookies clerk. I noticed how you terrified him. You should take up the horses. You're a bloody lucky man. Do you call my landlord, please? Oh, dear God, the boy's mad. No, just tired, Jackie. Oh, Tom, it doesn't mean any harm. There's something the matter with him. Dada, don't you know me? It's your own little godson, Oedipus. Isn't this nice? 